There is an editor window in every door that you use and Logic Pro is nothing different. But do you really know to use the editor window? If you are a beginner in Logic Pro, then editor window is the biggest tool that you have. You can easily fine tune the mistakes that you do, jump octaves, quantize, humanize the way you play and so much more. So today we're going to look exactly at that. We're going to look into the editor window and see all the basic functions that you can do in your DAW. I'm Florina Jean, otherwise known as Flow of Music, and I put out a lot of videos on music production, especially in Logic Pro. So if that interests you, then you have to click the subscribe button. So let's get started. So let's listen to the track that we'll be dealing with now. So to open the editor window, you just click the region and click the letter E. That's the shortcut to open the editor window. And this is the place where you can do a lot of magic, where you can have a lot of flexibility with all these MIDI notes. And we're going to look at all the basic functions that you can do when it comes to the editor window. So in order to expand it, just click this button and go up. You can scroll through it like this. You can even zoom in and out. So while pressing command, click the left arrow right arrow up arrow and the down arrow and it just zooms in like that let's look at a term called velocity so velocity is basically how hard or soft you press a note so in case this note and you want to change the velocity just click the note and change the velocity like that now the velocity is hard see it's hard if you want it soft just move this down and it becomes softer. We did this for one note. How can you do this together for all the notes? Just press Command and A, highlight everything and move up and down. That is one way. Now, let me give you a cool shortcut. If you want the same velocity for all these notes, because right now it's different velocities, right? So if you want the same velocity, just press Command A and while pressing Option and Shift, move it around. Now, whatever velocity you keep over here is the velocity you see there. So it's 52 right now. See, everything is kept to 52. So that's one shortcut right there. There is also another way by which you can adjust the velocity. So over here, you just click that and come down to the velocity tool. And then basically when you're pressing command, whatever you do is going to affect the velocity. So while pressing command, I'm going to reduce this, increase this. So that's another way you can do it. Next is quantization. Quantization is basically making all the notes sit correctly on the tempo. In bar number two, when I zoom it in, this note actually has to be over here, but it's not there. It's not on time, right? So I want this to be there. Now, because it's just one note, you might think I can just drag and put it here. What happens when a lot of notes are out of time? So you can do command A to highlight everything and just press the letter Q. See, this just snapped back to grid. Now, in case you don't want it here, you want a different quantization, then you need to go and change the quantization over here. So see what happens when I do one by one note. Everything comes on the starting of each bar, that is bar one, bar two, bar three, bar four. So as I keep changing, now I'm technically saying anything that is nearly closer to the middle of the bar, and that's what's happening. But in our case, we didn't play it like that. So you need to correctly keep it like that so i think bar ah, 1 by 16 works but this one moved a little further so i just need to bring it there so that is called as quantization so if quantization doesn't work for you just keep changing the quantization over here and sometimes even when you do that one or two notes may not be on the right bar so in that case you need to just check it and manually move it around if you're thinking how can i move a note around you just need to select it and move it like this and that you can elongate a note you can shrink a note you can move it up you can move it down you can even click and delete it so all these flexibilities are available especially in the midi tracks if you want to move a note up and down yes you can do that you can also click it and while pressing option hit the top arrow or bottom arrow now if you want to change the octave of a note only this note so this is in g you want it to move to the higher G, select it while pressing option, shift, click the up arrow and it goes up. Bring it down back, option, shift and down arrow. So this works for all the notes. Select everything, option, shift, up arrow, option, shift, down arrow. 
it just moves an octave up and down now there's an interesting thing called as a scale quantize previously what we saw was quantizing them with respect to the bar and the tempo and all that but you also have a way where you can quantize it according to the scale so i can change this to d major and everything snaps to the d major notes remember we use the velocity tool over here this time i'm going to use something called as a brush tool and i'll tell you in a minute why this is going to be really beneficial so if you have a hi hat and all you're going to have it on every second bar or every next bar right like every division on every bar so in that case you may not be able to play it that fast in that case brush tool really helps so i'll tell you what i mean so right now the time quantization is in every 16th note so while pressing command i can just brush through it over here so while pressing command and can you see all these notes they are exactly on the 16th note of every bar and it's going to sound nice so you can't play it that fast definitely you will have time issues and all that so you can easily use this brush tool now you can go even further i can click 32 notes maybe delete these parts so while pressing command see it becomes even shorter so every 30 second note is having that note added so this is another cool brush tool and this is especially useful for me while doing hi hats so i do a certain rhythm with the hi hats and i definitely come back to the editor window and change every note so certain cases i have these 32 notes in certain cases i have the 16th notes and that variation sounds nice for any song right it's not going to be nice when you have the same kind of i had continuing throughout the song you have pauses somewhere you have it going fast in some places so in that cases this brush tool really helps now this was something that we played and everything is snapped to grid and it has a certain velocity and all that so if you want to make this sound a little bit more human just press command and a go up to functions come to midi transform and here you have an option called humanize just select that now you don't have to bother a lot about all these things over here you just need to press select and operate and essentially when you do it once it gives you a variation if you press it twice you're going to get another variation thrice another kind of variation so on and so forth so let's try that so i'm going to press it once and let's see how it sounds like So there are some velocities that have changed a little bit and there's a little swing. So if you want more variation you can again select that select and operate button and it will work again. So I have used this on guitar tracks. So when you don't have a way where you can do live guitars, you can easily record guitar through real guitar plugin or through strummed guitar. There's so many plugins right now. But what you're doing is doing it using your midi and obviously when you want two tracks of that guitar pan it to the left and the right if you just do it through the midi and just leave it at that it's going to sound like it's again from the center only because you're playing it the same way and you're going to do quantization which essentially makes it come and sit right on tempo velocity is not changing so literally it's like a copy paste but you're putting it on the left and the right which in turn sounds like it's from the middle have two tracks of the guitar In one track I will do the select and the operate and the other track I won't do it or I'll do the select and operate twice. Now when you pan it on the left and the right you will get the stereo effect. In this time there is a variation in the velocity and that gives you that stereo width. So humanize is very useful especially when you are doing a lot of stuff using midi when you want that stereo width and variations and all that. So these are the basic things that you need to know when it comes to the editor window in Logic Pro. And using this you can clearly understand that you have a lot of flexibility when it comes to midi notes in audio tracks you may not have all these differences you want to learn more about audio tracks click the link that you see on the screen right now but the point is that you have a lot of flexibility in these midi tracks so learning the editor window and using all these shortcuts is very essential for your fast workflow i hope you learned something useful today thank you so much for watching keep making music and i'll see you guys in another video